Hi everyone and welcome back for the fifth Bond, James Bond movie in the franchise and that's of course You Only Live Twice. This is actually my personal favorite James Bond movie of all time. This movie is to me the best of the best, you know. Um, Goldfinger will definitely be my favorite Sean Connery movie and of course my personal favorite Bond. This will be my second favorite Sean Connery movie, you know. And I just love this movie incredible to death, love this movie to death. It's definitely to me the best one. And uh, directed by Lewis Gilbert who I also think he directed um, uh, The Spy Who Loved Me and The Moonraker which I think he did direct those two movies. But Lewis Gilbert did perfectly direction. Um, of course, it's written um, by Ronald uh, Dachel, which he did a great job, you know. Um, I love this movie to death. I love the story. I love the action. I love the acting performance by Sean Connery. I mean, this is a movie that I love to death, you know. This is actually 2012 release, you know, which I can show you different Blu-ray than, than all the others that I got. But I really enjoy this movie. I mean, this is such a pure badass movie. You know, it's based, it's set in Japan. Yes, this is a show in the Japanese culture. It's based on Japan. They were also, uh, there were also filming the movie in Japan. And most of it was filmed in England. But the other scenes were filmed in Japan. Which I love that. I love the, the setting, the story. And uh, the reason why I love this movie to death is because James Bond is actually a ninja in this movie. Been a huge fan of ninjas. I love the movies. I love the Kung Fu movies. Love the ninja movies. Since the first time I saw Pray for Death with Shoko Sugi 1985. Then I saw American Ninja uh, 1 and 2. And of course I saw the third one, I saw the trilogy American Ninja and I saw the other ninja movies, you know, from Hong Kong ninja movies which I, uh, which I grew up with those, uh, those kind of movies, you know. And uh, Sean Connery, I mean, he did a perfect performance, he also used a judo style in this movie when he fought a henchman. And I did not know when I uh, uh, was reading on trivia, but when Bond is fighting this sumo wrestler, was actually grandfather of The Rock, Dwayne uh, Robinson, you know, the the, which, uh, um, the WWE uh, international star, you know, and of course actor Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, you know, grandfather was, uh, was fighting Bond in this movie, which was awesome. Of course, I wrote down... Peter Fanin, Maiva, you know, he was sumo wrestler, you know, who fought, uh, who fought Bond, you know, Sean Connery. And I forgot to mention, but rest in peace, Sir Sean Connery, the best Bond of all time. My personal favorite, my second personal favorite Bond. I love this movie so damn much. I mean, this is such an epic kick-ass action form, you have ninjas, assassins, you have like everything, you know. Um, I kind of wish I, I would have the DVD cover because it was much better because you see Sean Connery in, in the back is also a ninja, you know. And this is also the ninja, Bond is ninja. He also uses uh, a shuriken, you know, the, the ninja star and he throws a ninja star and kills one of the henchmen, you know, in the volcano base by uh, Ernst Auro Blofeld, you know, which is, which is cool, which is awesome, you know. And I just love this movie, so awesome. I know that Sir Sean Connery uh, hate this film, he disliked this film um, for many reasons why this was actually his fifth and it was announced that he's not gonna play the character anymore. But Con Sean Connery did play, um, later he did play two other Bond films, you know, he played um, Diamonds Are Forever and he did, uh, which is, was not a own production movie, um, Never Say Never Again, which of course I'm gonna review those two soon. Um, but also for many reasons why Sean Connery quit uh, with uh, John James Bond was because um, he felt bored with... Uh, uh, with the character, he was tired that all they were want to talk about was James Bond, you know, he was frustrated and he was just tired and got bored uh, of the character, playing the same character over and over, you know. And one of the reasons he also stated that he didn't like the, the special effects and of course he didn't like 
um, the space stuff, you know, in the opening scene, you know, he did not like that. That's one of the reasons why he uh, he also did um, said uh, um, he announced his early retirement, and uh, the, of course they could not cast him for the sixth film, you know. But the funny thing was that um, when on her Majesty Secret Service by the by George Lazenby, you know, in famous George George Lazenby came out the sixth James Bond. You know, um, Sean Connery regretted the, the, that he did not do that movie because he said he could have done that movie because he liked it. You know, he regretted the decision that he quit by acting of James Bond, you know. And the other reason was that Lewis Gilbert passed this movie. He did not want to direct this movie, but uh, um, Albert Broccoli um, convinced him to do this movie. You know, he tell him that, that it's his job to do that, you know, so Lewis Gilbert was on board, you know, and uh, Peter Erhand, who edited all five James Bond movies, he wanted to direct this movie, he thought that uh, the producers uh, felt that Lewis Gilbert were not uh, be doing this film, and he wanted to direct this movie, but um, uh, because, but because Lewis Gilbert was on board, you know, they chose him instead, you know, uh, Peter R. Hunt, rest in peace, he quit, uh, he quit editing, uh, and he quit with the Bond franchise, and he traveled all over, worldwide and over the world, and he came to Japan, and in Tokyo, and he, um, he accidentally, um, um, he actually faithless, and of course, accidentally, he met the producer, Albert, um, Albert Broccoli, and of course, director, Lewis Gilbert, and they gave, they both gave him the, to direct the second unit of this film, and the next movie he directed, on Her Majesty's Secret Service, he directed, you know, um, Sally, uh, this was on Ian Fleming's, um, novel, but I forgot to check which was, which was Ian, uh, Ian Fleming's novel, doesn't matter, because I never read it, but, um, what uh, was the ma what was the matter was that they wanted to do this movie um they wanted on her majesty's secret service first but they decided to do this movie instead and yeah this is really the first time i uh, even as a kid i was 10 years old i saw this movie i taped it the final scene because it was so epic you know i love this movie to death you know and of course sean connery uh dislike this film he hates this film i love this film to death I love this film to death. I such a badass film, such a iconic film. I would say this is actually my third favorite James Bond film. I know when I, I said the View to a Kill is my third favorite film, but my list changes. But I'll definitely say Golden Eye, Goldfinger, and You Only Live Twice because I'm sorry, but uh, Sean Conn is my second favorite. Um, uh, James Bond, uh, rest in peace, Sir Sean Connery, Sally, he passed away on Halloween, October 31, um, two uh, 2020, that was last year, you know, um, I did one of uh, one of the videos on my old channel, but Sally, I deleted that, uh, that account, because I was tired being picked on and being hated all the time, you know, so I deleted, you know, um, and I started all over, with the new account, you know, and um, I don't regret that decision, I would do it over and over again, you know, because all I want is to be a movie reviewer and to le be left alone, not that I became a personal tiger target and someone goes pick, pick on me and puts me puts every video I upload, he goes and, and click dislike just to show me how much he hates me, but uh, doesn't, uh, but has uh, no uh, intention to write me a comment explaining me why he hates me, you know. Or my, or my voice, or my accent, you know, or because he disagrees every review I do, you know, that's, uh, that's the reason I quit, you know, and the same was with Peter Erhand, he quit, you know, editing, because he was so disappointed, of course he was hurt, you know, by that idea, but he got the next movie, which I'm gonna review tomorrow, but I wanna talk about You Only Live Twice, why it's such an epic movie, you know, um, uh, let, let's uh, talk about first facts. Um, so this movie um, actually did. Um, he actually did. The budget for this movie was actually nine million, nine million five thousand dollars. You know, yeah, nine million and five thousand dollars they paid to do this movie. You know, the volcano, the base, 
that everything for this movie, you know, they they paid nine million dollars. And uh, also, we for the first time ever we see Blofeld, you know, Aaron Stavro Blofeld, he's number one, you know, uh, the head of the Spectre organization, he's head number one, you know, he's number one uh, when he saw from uh, Russia with Love, you know, we did not saw his face, you know, we did not saw um, in Thunderball his face, you know, or his name, but now we finally know, you know, in Donald Pleasence, who did my favorite movie of all time, the Prince, uh, uh, actually Prince of, excuse me, Prince of Darkness. It was actually the first movie, you know, uh, uh, that, that I love. You know, he was in Halloween, the franchise, but I love Prince of Darkness. Prince of Darkness is my movie, you know. And yeah, this is my movie. And I just love this movie. Such a cool classic action film. I mean, Sean Connery was so great. I know that uh, Sean Connery was also asked if he liked Japanese women and he said no. Um, because he was frustrated and that was another another thing that uh, that people attacked him you know for no reason you know because he said uh, he because he was pushed too far you know he was frustrated he was really tired filming this movie you know he was exhausted you know he was exhausted for by working so many hours long you know for filming and uh, he asked them and said no it wasn't on purpose you know but you can't force an actor to like everything you think. Oh, uh, so uh, he, he's been asked if he, the, he likes Japanese women. He says no, and now we're going to attack him. No, you know, he's a human being just like you and me. He's a human being, you know. And I read that, that one, of the, uh, one of the reporters wanted to do an interview. And because he wasn't dressed properly, you know, the guy was like, uh, was really, um, the guy was actually uh, really, uh, um, upset and disappointed and he felt like uh, like outraged you know because uh, Jim because Sean Connery wasn't dressed like James Bond you know he 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 was like in a swimming suit or whatever you know and he was like is this uh, James Bond's dress and said no I'm not James Bond I am Sean Connery you know and yeah you can't force the actor to which he played the character to dress you know this is free country, you know, this is free world, it's a free country, you can't force him, you know, just because you like his character, you can't force him to dress like a James Bond, you know. That's one of the reasons why I saw, I think, Sean Connery quit, you know, or dislike this film, because he had unpleasant timing, you know, filming this film. But I just love You Only Live Twice, I mean, I'm a huge fan of this movie, you know, and fuck, it's gonna be probably a long review, but fuck, I have to talk about it, why I love this movie so much, you know, um, so, uh, as in this movie, we do have the aircraft, you know, Little Nilly, which is actually, a, um, how is it called, um, a British auto Giru, you know, if you, if you watch the Road Warrior, you see, you, you actually saw that the aircraft used by the Giro Captor, you know, it is Auto Giro, and that was uh, Little and Nelly is based on the real Auto, a uh, real British Auto Giro, which is developed in the early 60s by former Royal Air Force Commander Ken Wallis, you know, and uh, it's also the aircraft is actually Wallis WA-116 uh, uh, Agil, you know, and that's uh, that's actually the aircraft Auto Giro, you know, which which uh, Sean Connery was uh, was actually flying this movie, you know, and it's been called Little Nilly. And uh, I forgot to mention, but Desmond Living, Q also does appear in this movie, and he also appeared in Thunderball, but he does appear in, in uh, this movie, and uh, we see the, how they uh, how they designed uh, how they designed the Auto Giroud, uh, the the toy helicopter, you know, more Auto Giroud, you know, the aircraft by Q in this movie, you know. Um, and yeah, um, another thing is um, producers, producers Albert R. Broccoli, Harry, uh, Harry uh, Salzman, uh, director Lewis Gilbert, and cinematographer Fred Young, and produce, uh, production designer Ken Adam in overall booked to leave the Japan on BOC flight 911. Depart in Tokyo from Hong Kong and London, and two hours before the Ruin Sensen flight, you know, departed, um, the the team missed the flight because they were also um, because they they were invited to see the ninja uh, the ninja uh, uh, the the ninja demonstration, you know, and they missed the flight, 
and 25 minutes later when the the plane you know uh, left off it actually i think it actually crashed and killed everyone on board so uh the team of, of uh, this movie you know they were lucky they they were really lucky that they missed the flight otherwise they would be all dead you know they would be all killed you know so um um, so of course Albert Air Broccoli, Harry Salzman, Lewis Gilbert, you know Freddie Young and Adam uh, and Ken Adam, they will will be all all killed, you know, if lucky they 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 missed the the plane because they watched the ninja demonstration that time, you know, because they were invited to see the ninja demonstration, you know, and that's really the, the that ninja demonstration really saved their lives, you know, which I love that. Thank God they're still alive, you know. I mean, they were still alive that time. Um, yeah, the, I think the the plane crashed uh, empty fu Fuji, you know, 25 minutes later. Um, kill, kill everyone on board. Um, Nancy Sinatra also did soon this movie. I think it took her 25 outtakes. The last one then was the best part, you know, because she was so nervous when she was singing the song You Only Live Twice. So yeah, I love the song. Um, uh, music's uh, score once again is by, um, uh, it's actually once again uh, by John Barry, which I really enjoy. John Barry's music score, you know. I think that Nancy Sinatra and John Barry did a great music score for this movie. Um, and uh, uh, another thing I have to take out, um, when you see uh, when you see um, Sean Connery and the actress um, Mihama, she played Kisi Suzuki uh, when they were swimming this volcano, you know, and they both uh, go underwater. Um, that was not the actress uh, uh, Mihama because uh, they found out she could not swim. Yes, yeah, she could not swim. It happens, you know. She couldn't swim. So the wife of Sean Connery that time, you know. Um, uh, what was her? Diane Cliento, Diane Cliento, she, she was the one that she was swimming in the water. And, uh, if you watch the underwater scene, you know, with Sean Connery, uh, that wasn't Mihama because that, that, uh, that girl was a stunt woman and she was very beautiful until uh, I just found it on trivia because under credits, when I watch this movie, you know, under credits, it's not written who the stunt double was actually for the swim scenes by uh, the actress uh, Mihama. You know, some people are stating that she had cramps, you know, but it doesn't matter. The facts are facts, you know. She could not swim, and that's her facts, not that she had cramps, you know. And yeah, and kisses, uh, and of course, the, and uh, if you watch closely, just like I did, you know, underwater. You can see that's not the, the Japanese or Chinese actress. It's actually the stand woman. She's a very beautiful stand woman with brown hair. She's so beautiful. And until I googled it and checked on uh, on I'm even trivia, you know, I didn't know it was actually Sean Connery's wife. So yeah, that's cool. It was the end cliente underwater. You know, the the rest of the swimming scenes and she wear black. Uh, she wear um, black um, wig, but she also disguised the, the face of the actress, you know. But underwater, she had brown hair, not black. And you can see that's not the, the, the actress playing Kizzy Suzuki. It's actually a stand woman. And now I know it was actually wife. Uh, rest in peace. Yes, the actress also passed away, the stand woman for... Um, Mihama, she also passed away, Kizzy Suzuki. So rest, uh, I mean... Um, the 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 end Kilento, the wife of Sean Connery, she passed away 2011. So rest in peace. But it was a beautiful, beautiful girl, beautiful brunette girl under the water. I really must give her credits to uh, late Diane Cliento, rest in peace, Sean Connery's wife. I hope you're in heaven. I hope Sean Connery is in heaven because one of the best bond to, to me, really powerful bond. Um, so uh, uh, before before I go to the plot, I really have to uh, the spit out those uh, facts to give it out of chest uh, because I'm gonna forget it, you know, if I don't do that, you know. Um, so um, <clears throat> me uh, me Hama, you know, uh, 
She played Kisi Suzuki, you know, James Bond's wife in this movie. She was once again dubbed by Nikki Van Der Zyl, you know, she was dubbed once again. And of course, Tetsuro Tamba, who played Tiger Tanaka, was also voiced by Robert Rieti, who also voiced Emilio Largo in Thunderball, you know. Uh, uh, I think was um, Adolfo Cell, you know, he also voiced him and he also voiced Tetsuro Tamba. A Tiger Tanaka and this movie, but really they perfectly speak English, you know, everyone. And once again, Sean Connery's best performance, best Bond in my opinion, you only live twice, and I just love everything about this movie, the fight scenes, you know, Bond fights this, uh, uh, this sumo wrestler, you know, uh, then I know it was actually a, a, a real tribal ship, not Roman Reigns, a real tribal ship, you know, and grandfather of the Dwayne, uh, uh, Dwayne uh, Johnson, The Rock. Um, I love that fight scene, and also I love the, the ninja style, you know, the fight scenes on the end, the swords, the, the samurai, the swordsman, you know, uh, the, the Tiger Tanaka's uh, private school of ninjas, I just love that, you know, or, or Sean Connery, you know, um, Sean Connery was using judo, you know, and one of the henchmen tried to step in, and uh, Sean Connery, as a, as a badass body, grabs and stabs him, you know, and says he tried to kill him, you know, and, uh, Joe Robinson was actually stuntman and martial artist, he, uh, he was also an instructor for Sean Connery and was teaching him judo, you know, and uh, when Bond was fighting um, this guy on Hans, Blofeld's bodyguard, Ronald Rich, you know, that was actually Joe Robinson and when Bond throws him, you know, and Piranhas eats him, you know, that was also, that was also uh, uh, Joe Robinson's stuntman who was, uh, who was doubled for uh, for the the fight scene, uh, um, uh, uh, he uh, this guy Ronald Rich, you know. So yeah, so that's another thing. Uh, uh, the fight scenes are much better paced than in Thunderball. Like I said, Thunderball is average Bond. This is the best Bond in my opinion. Goldfinger will be number one. This is my second favorite Sean Connery movie that he did. You know, definitely my second favorite. Even as a kid, I I love the 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 final scene. It was such a badass, you know. Or when, uh, or uh, or uh, when, um, when this guy um, Ernst Tower Blofeld, you know, he has aquarium of those uh, fishes, you know, those uh, piranha fishes, and I also enjoy the actor's Karen Dora as Hilga Brand number eleven, and uh, and because she failed to kill Bond, you know, he uh, Ernst Tower Blofeld throws her in the water. She's been eaten by uh, by, by fishes. Piranha, I enjoy the girl, really enjoy her. Um, Donald Playa Sense, I love his movie, I love uh, the movie he did, Prince of Darkness, John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness. My favorite, uh, my favorite movie that uh, uh, John Carpenter did uh, um, by horror film, but I, I would definitely say my second favorite, Prince of Darkness. My favorite will be uh, Big Trouble Until China, you know, uh, my favorite the John Carpenter film, but. Don't play a scene, the film will be Prince of Darkness, which I love the movie to death. Um, but yeah, the cast I enjoy, you know, um, uh, uh, Mihama, you know, enjoy, um, I think, uh, uh, Akiko Wakabayashi as Aki, I enjoy her. Um, Sean Connery will mainly mention it and give him props to performance. I give props to, um, I give props to, um, his uh, wife as a stunt woman when, when she was underwater, you know, she dubbed the, the scene for Mihama, so I gave her uh, a props. Um, Mihama was okay, I'm sorry, no, it was actually the end, uh, uh, the, uh, was actually, um, it was actually, um, it was actually, um, yeah, it was... Actually, the the end, Silento, the the reason she should be she should be actually in this movie, you know, she was uh, she was the reason why I I really f f found um his awesome because it was because uh, the stunt woman was so beautiful. So yeah, I have to give her props. Bihama was okay, but uh, the end, Silento was the star of this movie in my opinion. Many will disagree, but but under the water because you can see that's not. Mihama, that's the end, Silento, beautiful, beautiful wife of Sean Connery, you know, um, so yeah, the cast, like I said, I enjoy, um, um, I enjoy, uh, um, 
this guy, um, Ronald Rich, you know, Hans Blofeld. I forgot to mention, but Charles Gray as uh, Dirk Henderson, a con British contact, you know, when he was killed by an assassin. Um, he was also later, he played Blofeld in Diamonds Are Forever, you know. So that's another good, uh, uh, great, uh, so that's another great thing, you know. And also the, the Chinese woman in the open scene in Hong Kong, when Sean Connery in the open scene has been killed, you know, Bond's been killed. Um, Si Chin, she did a cameo appearance in Casino Royale with Daniel Craig 2006. So that's another cool awesome scene, you know. Now, now since I already said everything, let's go to the to the plot. You know, it's been kind of 25 minutes since I talked the facts about the movie. But the plot in the opening scene, um, this uh, space uh, uh, U U.S. space shuttle is actually been uh, swept by um, I think it was uh, Mercury, Jupiter. You know, it's been swept uh, by um, uh, by this uh, un uh, unknown. Uh, unknown uh, spacecraft, you know, it's been swept, and uh, and uh, uh, the U.S. Uh, um, U.S. space shuttle, you know, Mercury Jupiter's been uh, is been hijacked, and uh, the U.S. doesn't know what's going on, so they blame the Russians, you know, and one of the astronauts has been killed, the other one is uh, disappeared, you know, and. Uh, uh, since uh, since uh, the Russians uh, the Russians blames Americans, Americans blames the Russians, and if this is gonna keep continue, it's gonna be a world war war. You know, it's gonna be a cold war between Russia and America. You know, uh, the U.S. and uh, uh, b b they call Brit uh, the British agency for help. You know, because they believed the the rocket landed somewhere in uh, in Japan in Japan and they called their best man James Bond so they order um so that Bond makes uh, um he um he faked his death you know that's why it's been called you only live twice because uh, Bond has two lives so they fake his death throw his body under the water in the British uh, service because he's a he was commander the, in the British uh, Navy, you know, and uh, of course, uh, this is the first time that we see headwater, same as six, uh, uh, in the um, in the submarine underwater, and Bond's been sent on a mission in Japan, you know, to get contact um, uh, this guy Henderson, while James Bond's contact uh, with Henderson, you know, um, he sees the sumo fights, you know, and Henderson's been killed, and Bond goes after him, uh, kicks ass, you know, he goes, kicks the, that the, the Japanese assassin, goes in this car, and he comes to this Osato, um, uh, factory, you know, in the Osato factory, he fights off this sumo wrestler, you know, like I mentioned it, it's Peter Fini, Maiva, rest in peace, you know, he was sumo wrestler that Bond fights, and of course Bond escapes until, uh, this girl grabs him, you know, and of course Bond, uh, uh, Bond, uh, she she drives in with this car. Um, she goes and she drives in with the, with this car. You know, she goes and drives in with this car. So um, so Bond wants to know who she is, and the girl escapes. And Bond goes after her, and he falls down. You know, and then we see his contact Tiger Tanaka, and because uh, Bond he steals uh, Santa from Osato's. Uh, uh, corporations, chemical corporations, they found out that they, uh, that they killed the tourists for taking a picture, you know, and the lease brings them to this volcano, uh, to this volcano in Japan, and, uh, because, uh, um, James Bond, he has a relationship with, uh, this girl, um, Aki, uh, played by, uh, Akikova Kabayashi, so, um, the, the leads, uh, brings Bond to this ship, Ningpo, uh, with, with Aki, he goes on uh, this uh, boat, you know, and of course he fights off those henchmen, you know, but he's been captured, and then Bond is in this airplane, you know, by this girl, um, number 11, um, I think was um, uh, Hilga Brandt, you know, number 11, uh, because she seduces him and she lives in this plane, but James Bond somehow lands in the plane, you know, and he jumps off the plane, you know, when he lands uh, on the ground and the plane explodes, and, um, and of course then Bond, you know, decides to check out those volcanoes, and uh, he calls, 
Um, so of course uh, there are uh, like a few henchmen who are chasing him and Taki and Taki Aki uh, calls um, she call no actually James Bond he goes uh, first to this plant you know he first goes to this plant as a completely different uh, uh, executive uh, um, the, uh, uh, a different businessman from different plant you know and of course when Osato says kills kill him you know and that's uh, when uh, when Aki picks it up with with this awesome car, you know, she picks it up with this car. I read that that, that uh, Aki uh, the actress uh, Akiko Wakabayashi could not drive, so it was uh, a stuntman driving the car while she was sitting in the front. Um, and also when Bond, you know, he escapes, you know, um, of course then they are followed by a few henchmen with guns. And uh, he calls Tiger Tanaka. Tiger brings helicopter. They get, goes with electromagnetic and throws in the water. Those he, those assassins was laughable. And you know that time, Bond and Aki go to this boat in Po, you know, which is belong to Mr. Osato. Bond meets this girl Hilga, um, brand number eleven. Uh, 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 she uh, he seduces her. They have a love. Then uh, he's in this plane and she escapes in this plane, you know, and like I already mentioned the scene. And now Bond, he goes to Tiger uh, uh, Tanaka's headquarters. And uh, of course, uh, uh, because he ordered that they call him to bring him that, uh, that aircraft, you know, that small aircraft. No, 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 that hero, um, the, uh, the, that British auto hero, you know, aircraft, little nearly. You know, he goes to check those volcanoes. In that time, we heard, uh, we heard, uh, Martin, I think it was, uh, Martin Norman's, uh, music song, you know, um, I think was, um, I think it was Martin Norman's song, you know, from James Bond and four helicopters are at, uh, uh, are, are shooting uh, the Bond, you know, while Bond uses automatic weapons and, and of course, rocket launchers and blows those helicopters to pieces, you know. And, of course, that's time we, we heard the, the first uh, awesome music score, you know. And I also love the gun barrel, which I forgot to mention, love the gun barrel in the open scene. And this is a fast-paced movie, you know. And, uh, of course... Uh, now Bond says that he needs uh, ask if uh, a Tiger has uh, commandos, you know, because he needs a few men to help him out. He says, I better have ninjas, you know, we see Tanaka's beautiful school, we see all the ninjas, the, um, I forgot to mention, um, the ninjas, the, the martial artists using their samurais, you know, I love that, you know, I love the ninja techniques and Bond, uh, and of course, um, Ernstano Prophet says this is Bond, you know, kills him. And uh, one of the henchmen, when uh, Aki and Bond are sleeping, you know, uh, throws the poison, and Aki dies, you know, and Bond shoots him. And like I said, in that scene, um, like I said, in that scene, you know, Bond, um, uh, this guy tries to stab Bond, you know, with, uh, with both uh, blades, you know, and uh, Bond uh, defends himself and uh, stakes him back, you know. And then, the, then of course, Bond in this movie gets married, you know. Uh, so this is the, the he's undercover. This is the skies, you know. He gets married with uh, with this uh, um, uh, with this girl. Um, just mention it, um, Kisi Suzuki, you know, because Aki died, and and of course uh, Tanaka says this is uh, actually no. Aki said this is actually job, you know. He has to marry her so that he can again go as disguised as a poor worker. On this island, otherwise he's not going to be accepted, and his cover is going to be blown. You know, so he uh, he marries Kissy like his poor worker, and while they're actually in a stake, you know, um, Kissy and Bond they go to this. Um, they both, you know, they both go to this um, this uh, volcano, and Bond, you know, finds out that um, Bond finds out that's actually metal. You know. So uh, he asked uh, Kissy to go back, you know, to uh, to back to call uh, Tanaka while while he goes, you know, uh, while he climbs like a ninja, you know, he goes uh, down that metal um, uh, volcano base, you know, laid by Blofeld, you know, which which that aircraft because the next aircraft, you know, they they hijack the Russian uh, uh, spaceship, uh, a Russian spaceship aircraft, and two astronauts been swept, you know, were been hijacked. 
with that uh, with that un unknown um, spacecraft once again, you know. And now it's gonna the, the third time because uh, the third time which they're gonna send Americans gonna send another space shuttle, another spacecraft. But if this happen again, there's gonna be a war between Russia and uh, between Russia and uh, America, you know, the U.S. And of course, later we find out that the Ernst Tower of Blofeld was actually um, sabotaging both uh, sides play each other because when uh, Ameri when the U.S. and Russia destroy each other, he's gonna be ruled. There's gonna be a, a new world, a new order. I you know that's why that's what he wants to cause. He wants to cause a, a panic and a cold war. And both countries gonna destroy, you know. And of course, the Bond when he climbs, you know, he use Shurike, the the uh, the the blade, you know, the the ninja star blade, you know. And he kills one of the the henchmen, you know. And he also saves three astronauts, you know, two Americans, uh, uh, one American and two Russian astronauts. He saves them, you know, which I love that, you know. This is more decent than than in Thunderball when he said I don't care about the whole island. This stupid fuck in that movie you know Sean Connery did not know that this is actually was actually my favorite movie he did you know my favorite is Goldfinger and this movie he did those two movies I love to death and Dr. No Dr. No is number three to me you know those three movies I enjoy you know and uh, Goldfinger's number one is number two you know, and of course Tiger Tanaka shows up, you know, they all climb down and also Kissy also shoots one of the bad guys, you know, they climb down um, and of course um, James Bond, you know, goes and he uh, he uh, he goes and destroys that uh, Blofeld's uh, spacecraft, you know and uh, of course Tanaka shows that star in uh, the, the, that star blade, you know, the ninja star Shuriki blade in uh, uh, Blofeld's hand, you know, and Blofeld then escapes and Bond fights, you know, all of them, you know, he goes and destroys that uh, spacecraft and Bond was so great, you know, and I love the fight scenes, you know, that we have like samurai ninjas against Red and uh, oh, I think it was uh, Red and uh, white, you know, uh, white suits, uh, uh, those Japanese uh, henchmen working for Blofeld, you know, and like uh, ninja samurais use, uh, use uh, uh, they use um, the swords and kills the bad guys, which I love that, you know, they go and kill the, the bad guys, I love that, you know, that's so awesome, that's so great, you know, this movie, I love the fight scenes, you know, the explosion. And Bond goes and he, like I mentioned, Bond goes and fights bodyguard of uh, Blofeld and that's, uh, that's Hans, you know. Of course, that fight scene was dubbed by um, Joe Robinson, stuntman, martial artist, and he was teaching uh, Sean Connery uh, judo, you know, the fight kicks, you know, judo, he was teaching him. And I just love that. And then, of course, um, uh, Bond, uh, not Bond, uh, Blofeld, uh, he clicks the, the explosions, you know, and the whole volcano explodes and all. And Bond, who, Bond and uh, um, Tiger Tanaka, they defeat uh, uh, Blofeld, and Blofeld is defeated. You know, they flee and the volcano explodes. And then, of course, uh, now Bond says, let's have... Um, a honeymoon, but of course, does uh, the British submarine gets them, and the, the movie then ends when Bond and uh, uh, Kissy are kissing. But I love this movie to death, you know. I don't know what's so bad about this movie. Um, it's been almost 40 minutes that I talk about this movie, but I love You Only Live Twice to Death. My personal favorite Bond of all time, you know. I know no one's gonna watch my video, but yeah, um. Like I said, my rest in peace, Sean Connery, rest in peace, Donald Piacense, uh, rest in peace, Sean Connery's beautiful wife, Diane Cliento, or I hope I pronounce right, or Cliento, 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 rest in peace. Um, um, I think that, uh, rest in peace, Albert R. Broccoli, I think he also passed away, the producer. Um, but yeah, that's my review. On you only live twice. Um, I hope you enjoyed and like it. Um, I had to give this all my chest. But thanks for watching. And and, uh, and tomorrow I will be reviewing the sixth Bond film that's gonna be on her my ST Secret Service. Take care now. I'm out. Um, peace, and I see you next time. Ciao.